The two senior citizens and ex-military chiefs who were on a mission to reshape the path Ghana's democracy should take under the auspices of the Ghana Today Coalition were forthright in the description of the protesters seeking the removal of the Bank of Ghana governor. Governor Ernest Addison should be told in the face that his lack of courtesy towards the demonstrators is a clear exhibition of disrespect in the highest order. Elsewhere in the developed world, public officers like him, whether elected or appointed, tend to adopt a more questionable poster of resignation. Many have deemed corruption within the current government as significant despite the president's refusal to admit it. The Akufuado I knew had and had no and had numerous dialogues and demonstrations with is not the Akufuado who is now president. How do ministers hold statues of cash in foreign and local currencies in their homes. Acquire properties in prime areas of Accra and other parts of the country. Drive the most luxurious cars and live extravagantly and expect our youth who remain largely without meaningful employment to be satisfied. An enraged Yahuta Maklo questioned President Akufado's stewardship. If you can't do the work, resign. Just resign and go away. Anybody who takes over this country after this government, if he fails to let the government, this particular government, account for what he, for, for what they are done in terms of property and physical cash, that person will be my number one enemy. Former National Security Advisor, Brigadier Retired General Nunu Mensah claimed the looting of state resources under the current regime appears to be making a cool rife. See whether those people have been overthrown there, those in power. Did they deserve to be overthrown? I'm, I don't encourage the military to take over power. I don't, I don't do that. But when we are given power, manage the country in such a way that the military will not feel comfortable interfering with our government.